your doctor might request some tests specifically if you have been struggling to conceive for a long time or if you are struggling with recurrent miscarriages. And a common test is called a karyotype. The karyotype is the medical term for chromosomal analysis. It is a simple blood test that can be done from both men and women. It will be literally checking the numbers of chromosomes that the, the gentleman and the lady has. We expect people to have 46 chromosomes, but what we are looking for are some chromosomal aberrations, like what we refer to as reciprocal trans balanced translocation, where some chromosomes, um, uh, for instance, chromosome one is a part of chromosome one is sitting on another chromosome, while those individuals will not have any problems health-wise themselves, they might struggle with fertility issues and miscarriages. In general, these are not tests that are requested routinely for couples suffering from infertility. However, they are requested in couples who suffer from recurrent infertility treatment failures or in couples who have recurrent miscarriages. And the importance of requesting those tests is that what can we do to change the outcome? And the treatment will be for such couple is not only to go for IVF, which means stimulating ovaries, creating embryos in the lab, but stimulating ovaries, creating embryos in the lab, and biopsying these embryos to check if those embryos are carriers of what we refer to as an unbalanced translocation or an abnormality in the number of chromosomes, because those embryos will not implant, or those embryos, even if they implant, they will end up in an early miscarriage. The likelihood of having, of having a chromosomal abnormality in the couple and not in embryos is not very common. It accounts to approximately 3 to 4% of couples with recurrent IVF failures. But when it is present, there are lots of things that can be done in order to improve the fertility outcome and help couple having a successful outcome from the treatment.